Supercars can now reach speeds that were not imaginable in the last century. But what goes behind the world's fastest cars? In this video, we're going to show you the top 10 fastest supercars and hypercars of the world in 2021. Before we begin, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell icon for notifications. Number 10. Ferrari 812 Superfast over the years, engineers and car experts have made remarkable progress in producing supercars and hypercars. Once reaching 200 miles per hour was a record-breaking achievement for any car. Now the world's fastest supercars can even cross 300 miles per hour. Now that is the speed we are talking about here. The Ferrari 812 Superfast is an Italian sports car manufacturer's front mid-engine rear-wheel drive Grand Tour that debuted at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show. The F12 Berlinetta has been replaced by the 812 Superfast. The A12s are powered by a 6.5-liter V12 engine that produces 789 horsepower and 530 pound-feet of torque from a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The car is also super fast, according to the maker hitting 211 miles per hour. The motor's convertible edition reached 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. Although it does fall short of the McLaren 720S, which completed a run in 2.7 seconds, it is still a stunning result. The GTS is expected to take a tenth of a second longer to hit 60 miles per hour than the Superfast, owing to the requisite suspension reinforcements, which weigh the convertible 265 pounds more than the coupe. Now, for a vehicle that weighs up to two tons, we considered the latter's handling to be very nimble. The exhaust system on this car begins with a high-pitched growl and builds to an ear-piercing squeal. Number 9. Mercedes AMG 1 the Mercedes-AMG 1 is indeed a mystery, apart from the reality that the German automaker is extending experience from its championship-winning Formula 1 team to a road vehicle. A turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine, three electric motors, and over 1,000 horsepower or more are all available. Mercedes hasn't mentioned how much torque the 1 generates, but the response is likely to be a ton. The 1 is capable of a maximum speed of 217 miles per hour and takes only 2.6 seconds to go from 0 to 60. While not as fast as some of the other vehicles on this chart, there is no denying that the $2.7 million Mercedes AMG is indeed one of the world's fastest cars. Number 8. Lamborghini Cyan Roadster All of the efforts of engineers taken to produce this masterpiece, according to Lamborghini, propels the Cyan Roadster to 60 miles per hour in under 2.9 seconds and on a peak speed of 218 miles per hour. With the debut of the Cyan, Lamborghini pointed at a hybridized, much quicker future. With 819 horsepower on tap, the Cyan is not only the most efficient car the business has ever built, it is also one of the rarest, with only 63 units made. The launch of the Cyan Roadster by the Italian performance car manufacturer brings things a step forward today. The Cyan Roadster, as you would expect, lacks the roof, but retains the coupe's sultry styling cues. The Cyan, which takes styling cues from Lamborghini's Terzo Millennio concept vehicle, aims to work for Lamborghini's design language. To say the least, extreme features such as the three-pronged front lighting signature and triple taillight configuration are very eye-catching. Smaller info such as the side intakes and hydraulic rear wing provide a special touch. Simply stated, despite being totally over the top, it is the best-looking Lamborghini in recent memory. Number 7. Aston Martin Valkyrie The Aston Martin Valkyrie can go as fast as 250 miles per hour. The car's engine is designed with perfection, and the acceleration is so smooth that the car can go from 0 to 60 in just 2.5 seconds. Aston Martin has skipped the hypercar sector altogether, opting to concentrate on making fantastic and elegant grand tours. The Valkyrie is a departure from the norm, the product of Aston Martin's collaboration with Red Bull Racing and Formula One to create a world-class hypercar. The Aston Martin Valkyrie essentially shows drivers a gateway to crazy levels of space and fun, as Valkyries were said to show Norse warriors into Valhalla. The Aston Martin Valkyrie has a distinctive appearance and a 6.5-liter V12 engine that produces 1,160 horsepower. This car is effectively a street-legal Formula One racer and is a remarkable achievement worthy of fulfilling even the most extreme need for pace. Number 6. McLaren Speedtail 
McLaren Automotive unveiled the McLaren Speedtail, a limited production electric sports car, on October 26, 2018. The McLaren Speedtail has a maximum speed of 250 miles per hour and will jump from 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds, according to McLaren. After the Senna, the P1, and the F1, this is the fourth car in the McLaren Ultimate sequence. The Speedtail is driven by a hybrid engine and a tweaked M840T from the 720S to deliver 1,036 horsepower. The Speedtail features a carbon fiber monocoque with integrated back seats and dehydral doors, similar to many other McLaren versions. Number 5. Bugatti Chiron Supersport Bugatti is the Dodge of hypercars. Are you still looking for new ways to get more output out of a single motor? It's a quadruple turbocharged 8 liter V16 engine that wowed us in the Veyron and the Veyron Supersport. Two cars that are still in development would comfortably enter this list, but in the newer Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, this beast of an engine is on a whole new plane. The range topping Chiron has 1600 horsepower and 1180 pound feet of torque, 600 horsepower and 193 pound more feet of torque than the original Veyron, and it can attain speeds of 300 miles per hour as the name applies. Bugatti achieved a top speed of 304 miles per hour in official trials. Number 4. SSC Tuatara The Tuatara, like every other self-respecting sports car, is equipped with a monstrous engine. It can generate up to 1,750 horsepower, depending on the fuel used. Its peak speed is said to be over 300 miles per hour. The Tuatara is named for a New Zealand-only reptile that has the quickest molecular growth of any living being. SSC North America, an American automaker, build, produce, and manufacture the SSC Tuatara, formerly Shelby Supercars Inc., and Jason Castriota and SSC collaborated on the concept of the sedan, which is their heir to the ultimate aero. The engine was originally fueled by a 6.9-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine, but the output was later lowered to 5.9 liters to allow for a faster redline of 8,800 RPM. Number 3. Hennessy Venom F5 Super speed cars aren't just the expertise of European people. Hennessy Performance Engineering in Texas also knows a thing or two about it. Hennessy says the upcoming Venom F5 can attain speeds of 310 miles per hour, owing to the dual 6.6 liter V8 that generates 1,817 horsepower and 1,193 pound feet of torque. The supercar is significantly faster than the Hennessy Venom GT, which set the world record of 270.49 miles per hour in 2014. While the price is cheaper than any of its European competitors, just beginning at $1.8 million, Hennessy can only produce 24 samples. The front fenders of the Venom F5 are angled like a wolf snarl, and the back roofline is ribbed like the back of an ancient reptile. The body sides have been chiseled down to skeletal dimensions, and the quad group of rear exhausts seem to be spewing acid. Number 2. Devel 16 A road car with a top speed of 320 miles per hour? With 5,007 horsepower, a quad-turbo V16 built from two LSV8s? All of this from a car produced by a Dubai-based startup? Now, I realize it all sounds like a prank. Although the Devel 16 may turn out to be a flop, there are a few important details to consider while holding an open mind. When you hear the concept's 320 mile per hour goal is meant to be feasible by the mid-level 3,000 horsepower variant of the vehicle, not just the 5,007 horsepower that everyone talks about, the concept becomes a lot more real. There's also the reality that its V16 engine, which is manufactured in the United States, is genuine and much more complicated than you might think. And there's Chief Engineer Paolo Gorella, who is maybe the most critical piece of the puzzle. Formerly the director of Pininfarina's one-off division, he is currently well known for developing Jim Glickenhaus's race and street cars, as well as consulting on Apollo's $2.7 million V12-powered IE hypercar. Number 1. Koenigsegg Jesko And finally, on number 1, we have Koenigsegg's latest production, the Jesko. Jesko is the world's fastest car ever, going over more than 300 miles per hour or 483 kilometers per hour. Yes, the unimaginable has been achieved by Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg Automotive AB is a high-performance sports car maker located in Skane County, Sweden. Koenigsegg's Jesko replaces the company's previous supercar, Ajera, and was unveiled at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. Jesko is a tribute to Jesko von Koenigsegg, the company founder's father. 
This hypercar is designed specifically as a high-performance road vehicle with an emphasis on high aerodynamic downforce and precise handling. The Jesco has a massive carbon fibers front splitter and a boomerang-shaped rear wing that generates 1,764 pounds of downforce at 155 miles per hour and 3,086 pounds at its peak speed, which has yet to be proven. In fact, Koenigsegg claims that the absolute variant of the car will reach speeds of 330 miles per hour. And that is a wrap for today's video on the top 10 fastest supercars and hypercars in the world in 2021. What supercar do you dream to drive one day? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for more notifications.